Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and take a one terabyte drive, and I'm going to use DD in a Linux uh, environment. In this case, it's Ubuntu, and I'm going to drop it to a 500 gig drive. So let's get started. All right. So first thing we're going to end up doing is we're going to go and open up the menu here and pull up Gparted. Now what we're going to need to do is the one terabyte is obviously too big to fit into the 500 gig. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the five or the one terabyte down to a smaller size, and I'm just going to do like 385, I think, um, something like that. And what that'll do is that'll allow me to make it fit. Just apply it here. Let's watch what it's doing. All right, this drive is empty. So what we're gonna do is we need to create the partition. So first I'm gonna create the master boot record, or the partition table, I should say. And I'm just doing an MDOS because it's less than, you know, a terabyte. I'm gonna create the system partition, which is a 100 meg here, which let's put it in the right spot. And I'm just going to apply it. I need to probably just go ahead and put both of them in, but anyway. Um, so now let me just delete that and I'm going to put both of them in correctly. Also make sure that the right, uh, right partition type. So system partitions FAT32. and the main type is NTFS. All right, and now as the command shows on here, we're gonna go ahead and take the OneDrive which is SDA A, we're going to write it to SDB. In this case, it's SDA1 to SDAB, uh, SDAB1. Uh, one. Can't talk fast enough. There we go. Let's zoom it in. And then you can see here the commands. And the block size, or the BS, basically how big the uh, block size that I'm going to be copying. I'll speed it up here a little bit so you can not have to wait the entire time. Now this is going to take a while, so you might want to go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee or uh, go ahead and click on my affiliate link and take a look at DigitalOcean where you can go ahead and set up your own uh, droplets and run your own server or uh, set up your own VPN instance there if you want or web server or whatever else you want to do. Uh, you get a hundred dollars worth of credit for 60 days. I mean that is unheard of in most options. So if you want to click on the link, it's down in my description uh, or down in the uh, description box below. And uh, all right, here we are. So we're gonna log out or power off, I should say, and move on. I told you that was gonna be fast. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check to make sure that the boot options are right. Yep. I'm going to boot from the CD because what we need to do is run a startup repair for Windows. Uh, this is going to do a boot rec repair, and this is going to basically do the boot records. So 
I could have copied the entire drive, including the boot records. However, that uh, boot record was configured for the one terabyte drive, and I want it to rebuild. You could do it through Linux. However, I find it to be a little better having Windows do it. So if you have a Windows Live, uh, Windows install disk, this is the easiest way. Boot it up, run, hit next, hit your repair your computer. Uh, this is for Windows 7, but it works in Windows 8 and 10 as well. Uh, you'll notice that nothing shows up. Hit next, ignore this, hit cancel, hit cancel. I'm about to hit next, but hit cancel. Go to command line and then type in boot rec. Or, yeah, I checked to see the drive here first, sorry. Uh, in this case, it's in D drive. But I type in boot rec forward slash fix MBR. And I go ahead and exit. And I do a startup repair. And then it's just got to do a check disk on it. And that's it. Now stay tuned for part two. And we'll go ahead and uh, continue.